Peg Pillsworth and her poison. Within Epworth 1790, a woman named Peg Pillsworth was well known and liked for her baking skills. Peg lived and worked in the workhouse in Queen Street and people had to make the best of what they had to make it through, otherwise the workhouse would lead people to insanity. Within the records found Peg is thought to be an affectionate person towards children, and known to help in travelling tinker that stopped by in Epworth on regular occasions. Peg must have done well perfecting her spiced fruit cake for people to trust and purchase or accept the cake as a gift, before something must have tripped Peg to add poison into the recipe. The Tinker's children were first to die, followed by his wife. People only took real notice when the Tinker himself fell ill. The locals placed the blame on Peg but no action was taken till the Tinker had died. In this era mob was the law in small villages like Epworth. Peg knew what would come of her. So she committed suicide by poisoning herself with digitalis, which is made from crushed foxglove. When her body was found the locals of the time still treated it as a witch and taken to the crossroads, known as Market Cross today, there her body was strapped to a plough and taken to the rail crossroads in Burnham Blow. According to legend Peg Pillsworth's body was buried with two stakes through her heart. But was Peg really to blame? As adulterated wheat can occur by farmers harvesting wheat and other crops, even the health officials of today are aware on how easily poisons can come into everyday foods, any contaminated produce through farming must be burnt. Peg's body is said to lie at Blow Row and Burnham Road Junction in Epworth, just outside of the cemetery.